Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. share with him eternal glory. In baptism, our brother Franz Joseph was clothed with a baptismal garment a sign of being born in Christ and of his dignity as a child of God. Now we place a pal, a sign of Christ's enduring love until the next life. May this be a sign to his birth to eternal life. In life, Franz Joseph cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Franz Joseph received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. In the name of uh, Father Provincial Jerome Marquez, SVD, 
I would like to welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for our brother, confer, Father Franz Joseph Eilers, that God may be merciful to him, forgive all his shortcomings and failings, and accept him in his heavenly kingdom. We thank God for the gift of life that he has bestowed on him for 89 years, with which God also bless us with his presence in our midst for 36 years of missionary service in the Philippines. He has been a religious missionary priest for the last 62 years. And so today, together with friends, relatives, and benefactors who are joining us online, we offer this Mass for the repose, eternal repose of the soul of our confer, Franz Joseph Eilers. Let us pray. Lord God, you choose our brother Franz Joseph to serve your people as a priest and to share the joys and burdens of their lives. Look with mercy on him and give him the reward of his labors, the fullness of life promised to those who preach your holy gospel. We ask this through Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men and women, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immorality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through a stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. In green pastures he gives me repose, 
Beside restful waters, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. Though I walk in the valley, He guides me in the right path of His name's sake. Even when I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for You are at my side, with Your rod and Your staff that give me courage. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are with me. I fear Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. resurrection and the life sees the Lord all who believe in me will never die Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reverend Father Bob Stagura, Rector of Christ the King Seminary, Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, Rector of the Diocesan Shrine of the Divine Word, the Conference, Seminarians, and Friends. We are here today to say goodbye to a country and good friend Father Franz Joseph Eilers. The passing away of someone we hold dear always leaves an emptiness in our hearts, an emptiness which is hard to fill. For many of us, Father Eilers was a comforter, a spiritual guide, a scholar, and a good friend. For many of us, this friendship started when he came to us in Tagaytay. Father Franz Joseph Eilers was born in Germany on May 11, 1932. And like many Germans, he believed that while well, one cannot decide on when and where to be born and where and when to die, The moments between these two important points of one's life can be filled with important decisions. So as a young man, he decided to enter the Society of the Divine Word at Bad Driburg, Germany. And after 14 years of seminary formation, Father Eilers was ordained to the priesthood in St. Augustine in 1959. As a young priest, Superiors assigned him to style where he was working as assistant prefect. And shortly afterwards, he went for further studies, studying missiology in the University of Münster. Later, while doing mission work in Papua New Guinea, this young missionary studied the unique way the people in that country communicated over miles using drums made of hollowed out tree trunks. The basis for this research became a source for his academic passion throughout his life. Later, he worked at the SVD Generalate in Rome and also at the Vatican as an expert in the field of communications. Two Roman universities, namely the Gregoriana and the Salesianum, invited him to teach. Yet the drive to be in the missions urged Father Islands to come to the Philippines. And so in 1985, he came here and served as formator and professor in Tagaytay. His fame as an academician attracted administrations of the University of Santo Tomas in Manila and the UP in Los Banos. Father Eilers was instrumental in inspiring young conferences to venture into the latest means of communication so as to share the Word of God to hundreds if not thousands of listeners. Today, the field of communications and the corresponding challenge in the evangelization has evolved tremendously. 
many other achievements and successes and tasks as a missionary and scholar will make this homily unnecessarily longer. So I'll spare you being bored. More importantly, the young SVD members remember this man of God for his ability as a counselor, confessor, and a good friend. This tremendous energy and zeal to serve others intellectually and spiritually got nurtured by hours of prayer both in the community and in private. My own remembrance of Father Franz Josef Allers remains that of a confer who was good-natured, reliable, always positive in his outlook, and above all, prayerful. As we say, he was both a confer and a good friend. For someone who leaves us, there will be a chance to say words, but words spoken will soon be forgotten. Cards, biographies written will fade and be rotten. Flowers will wilt and dry up. Even monuments in stone and steel will rust and crumble to dust. This afternoon, we offer something more meaningful as a parting gift to our country. And these are our prayers of hope and thanks to God who lives in eternity because we believe that God who is beyond space and time will apply them and receive them in his own good time. Psalm number 90 says, the life of a man is usually 70, 80, if he is strong. Like many things coming from Germany, Father Eilers was seemingly built to last, so much so that being in the VCR was not really part of his life plan. God blessed him with 89 years, and 40 years of his life was spent in mission countries. In these mission countries, where the SVD confers labor, there are some islands where the practice of the people is the following. At the end of the funeral mass, all the people will go to the seashore and carrying little rafts filled with flowers will set these rafts adrift to be carried by the tide into the distant horizon where heaven and earth meet, where sky and line and land embrace, where divinity and humanity kiss. And as these little rafts drift into the horizon, the people watching them break into most beautiful songs, mostly dedicated to our Blessed Mother, singing Ave Maris Stella, Hail, Star of the Sea. Today, our celebration will be marked by a sad farewell to a confer we highly respect and so to this loyal son of Father Arnold Johnson, a faithful follower of Jesus the Divine Word, we now bid as a community not a sad goodbye, but borrowing from his own German language, we say to Father Eilers, Father Eilers of Wiedersehen, Father Franz Josef Allers, SVD, esteemed confer and good friend, we, your brothers and friends, say to you, 
hanggang sa ating muling pagkikita till we see each other again. Please all stand. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where He intercedes for His church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers to His. In baptism, Father Franz Joseph received the light of Christ scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer our brother franz joseph was nourished at the table of the savior welcome him into the halls of heavenly banquet let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer our brother franz joseph he spent his life following Jesus, poor, chaste, and obedient. Count him among all holy men and women who sing in your courts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother Franz Joseph, shared in the priesthood of Jesus Christ, leading God's people in prayer and worship. Bring him into your presence where he will take his place in the heavenly liturgy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends, members of our families, and SVD priests and brothers have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and poverty each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment. Rest and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and relatives, confers and bro brother of Franz Joseph, seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please rise. Pray that these my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, receive the gifts we offer for salvation of Franz Joseph. May Christ be merciful in judging our brother, for he believes in Christ as his Lord and Savior. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. In Him who rose from the dead, our hope of resurrection dawn. The sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. 
Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all your people. Remember your servant, Franz Joseph Eilers, whom we have called from this world to yourself. Grant that we, that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints with our founder saint arnold johnson saint joseph renadimitz who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through Him and with Him and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to us to call God Abba Father and so we have the courage to pray Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer its a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should that enter, enter under my roof. Under my roof. But only say the say word, the word and, my and my soul shall be healed. Please rise. Let us pray. Lord God, your Son Jesus Christ gave us the sacrament of life, body and blood to guide us on our pilgrim way to your kingdom. May our brother Franz Joseph, who shared in the Eucharist, come to the banquet of life Christ has prepared for us. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
trusting in God. We have prayed together for Franz Joseph. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Franz Joseph again and enjoy his friendship. Although we will grow in sorrow, we will go in sorrow. The mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of the kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ and in the support we get from each other. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May the angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Give him eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on him forever. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Franz Joseph, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. will be the following cross bearer and candle bearers speedy confers concelebrants 
presider, the funeral car, and then relatives and friends. Yeah. 